flying Kathmandu to Lukla and trek to Fakti. Lukla is a small town situated at 2860 meters. It is a popular place for visitors in the Himalayan near Mount Everest to arrive. Lukla contains a small airport servicing the region and the varieties of shops and lodges. From Lukla, travelers will take two days to reach the village Namche Bajar. Namche Bajar, it is located within the Khumbu area at 3440 meters. Most Sherpa who are in the tourism business are from Namche area. Everest Viewpoint gives the first glance of the peak during the Everest Base Camp Trail. Not only that, the place gives the best view of the Khumbu Valley. It's few hundred meters above Namche Bajar and is usually visited on the acclimatization day from Namche Bajar. Where are you guys heading to? Dungde? Renjola Pass is one of the underrated trekking routes in Nepal, which offers the exploration of the remote but naturally rich areas of Khumbu region. Renjola Pass, 5360 meters, is one of the three high passes of Everest region. From there, we can see a spectacular view of Mount Everest, Makalu, Choyu, Amadavlam and many more. Gokyo Gokyo is a small village in Solukhumbu district in the Himalayas of Nepal. The village is located at an elevation of 4,750 meters, making it one of the highest settlements in Nepal and in the world. Almost all the buildings are guest houses for trekkers. The people who live in the village live during the winter and move to other lovers' villages. Gokyo Ri is a 5,357 meter high peak in the Khumbu region of the Nepal Himalayas. It is located on the west side of the Mozumpa Glacier, which is the largest glacier in Nepal and reputed to be the largest in the Himalayas. From the summit of Gokyo Ri, it is possible to see four 8,000 meter peaks, Mount Everest, Lhotse, Makalu and Choyu. Chola Pass. Chola Pass is a summit pass located 5,420 meters above sea level in the Solokhumbu district in northeastern Nepal. It connects the village of Thaknak 4,700 meters to the west and the village of Zongla 4,830 meters to the east. Thank you.
The trail to Everest base camp consisted of a lot of ups and downs on a very dry gravel trail. It will take you around 1 hour and 15 minutes to reach the base camp, where you will see a big pile of rocks, prayer flags and the Everest base camp plug signifying that you have finally made it. Kalapathar. The next morning start hiking as early as 5 am to Kalapathar, 5643 meters. Kalapathar is just a big rock, but with a rewarding view of the landscape around Mount Everest, it is also more visible from up here than from the base camp. Kongmala Pass, 5,540 meters. The Kongmala Pass is known to be one of the more difficult trekking options for everyday hikers in the Everest region. However, with that difficulty also comes its beauty. The views that you will take in from the top of Kongmala are truly some of the best you will come across in the region. When you reach at the top of Kongmala Pass, you will see the Kongmala Lake surrounded by various snow-capped peaks. Imjachi, better known as Island Peak, is a mountain in Sagarmatha National Park of Himalayas of Eastern Nepal. The peak was named Island Peak in 1953 by members of the British Mount Everest expedition because it appears as an island in a sea of ice, viewed from Dingbochi. The peak was later renamed in 1983 to Imjachi but Island Peak remains the popular choice. Tenjin Norgishirpaka statue. 